Hey everyone, this is Luke from Psycrafties again. So last week on Al alkanes, I taught you the introduction, molecular formula versus structural formula, drawing isomers and nomenclature. So this week in alkanes 2, I will be teaching you how to draw the simplified or the skeletal formula. They are both the same thing. And the nomenclature again. Now for the last week nomenclature, I'm just teaching you how to name the basic alkanes, the prefix of the alkanes, methane, ethane, propane, hexane and everything. Now the nomenclature for today, I'll be teaching how to exactly name strands of, what strands, I mean molecules of alkanes, alright? So first let's start with the simplified and skeletal formula. Okay. Now for example, I give you a molecule of propane, for example. Uh, propane is a three, I, I really hope you guys have uh, memorized all of the prefixes. So propane is a three carbon molecule and each carbon has, is bonded to four atoms. So this is a propane. Now, a sim, uh, structural formula. Wait, not structural, simplified formula, or also known as a skeletal formula, each carbon is drawn as a vertex. Now, don't get what I mean. Propane is drawn like this. Each vertex over here represents a carbon. Alright, but when you draw your skeletal formula, you don't write the carbon. This is automatically assumed as your carbon. And the number of hydrogens is basically how many hydrogens is attached onto that particular carbon like on this vertex based on the rule that I told you that every carbon is bonded to four other atoms alright so if this carbon is bonded to another carbon so which means this carbon over here has really three bonds it only has one bond to hydrogen if it doesn't have this bond it is bonded to two hydrogen so it varies according to the bonding of the carbon so let's do a little bit more practice, okay? Um, okay. Let me give you this molecule. C, CH3, CH3. So your carbon is bonded to CH3. Carbon is bonded to all your methyl group. So how do you draw this? So your your carbon over here, this carbon right here, I'm drawing it as a dot. And this CH3. I'll be drawing like this, like this, all of them are CH3. But this looks kind of wrong. Because if let's say you buy the molecular set and you arrange the molecules like this, it, it doesn't really align like this. So it is more of like, yes, still a dot, but it goes up and goes down more in the X shape. Okay? So this is how you do it. Another example, um, let's have a four carbon molecule. This is a 4 carbon molecule, but it has a methyl substituent. Alright, so how do you draw this? So first you draw your straight chain over here. Always draw your parent chain. This is called your parent chain. And for anything, hydrogen is, for anything that is attached to the parent chain, it's called a substituent. Hydrogen is not a substituent. It is actually a substituent, but it's not really a big deal. I mean, because it's only hydrogen. For this, if it's a substituent and if it's like this, it's called a methyl substituent. If it has C2, C2H, um, C2H5, it will be um, ethyl substituent. Alright, so first you draw a parent chain. So, four carbon. One, two, three, four. So, always number your carbon. Carbon one, carbon two, carbon three, carbon four. On the second carbon, you have a CH3. So this is basically, this is assumed to be your CH3 already, alright? So that is how we draw a simplified structure. Now, I want you to Google how to more exercise on this because this is something you really need to know when you are doing organic chemistry because in the whole module, you'll be working with simpli uh, simplified structure. You won't be working with this kind of structure, so we'll be working with this. And this is chemistry. This is high school chemistry, right? Which is, nah. Okay? Also remember uh, your other atoms which are not carbon and hydrogen and your functional groups, for example your hydroxy, your OH functional group, your amino and H2 functional group, all must be indicated. Understand? Alright, so, so for example if I give you an alcohol by the name of propanol and this is um, its structural formula, I've omitted the hydrogens out. 
to make this video faster. So when you draw this, you're drawing your three carbon, one, two, three, and your OH is a functional group, it's a hydroxy functional group. It has to be indicated, so it becomes OH. Proper noun. So this and this is the same thing. Now, in this molecule, you don't draw your hydrogen. You're not supposed to draw your hydrogen. It's perfectly 100% alright. In this molecule, you have to draw hydrogen. So this is basically wrong. But I'm just doing this for educational purposes, alright? Now, for your cycloalkanes. Now, let me give you an example. For example, I give you this molecule named butane. So butane is C4H10. So let's practice. Now I'm going to draw all using the skeletal formula. So C4H10. Done. That is C4H10. Now, this is called, one molecule is this called practice, 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 butane. And look at this. It's a straight chain. It's a straight chain. Now, last week I told you this thing about cycloalkanes. This is a butane, A and E. So this is an alkane. So for this molecule, it can be a cyclic molecule. So it can also be like this. Also four carbons. Wow, I, I drew too fast. Now C4H10. Alright. C4, carbon 1, bonded to carbon 2, carbon 3, carbon 4, and back to carbon 1. It has a it, it's a four carbon molecule. And this is a cyclic chain. Cyclic molecule. So this molecule is also butane because it has four carbon, but since it's cyclic, it's called cyclobutane. So this is a this is an example of cycloalkane. Oh my god, what's happening to my handwriting? Alright, cycloalkane. So for example, I'll give you this molecule over here. Okay? So firstly when you want to name a molecule, you have to identify identify the parent atom. So the parent chain is usually the longest chain, all right. So the, it is the longest continuous carbon chain. So this is first carbon, second carbon. Now, when you are at this second carbon position, you have to decide whether to go here or here. Which is longer? Definitely here. So it's here. So this is your parent chain, and this is your substituent. So this is how you name it. You name your substituent, then you name your parent. So behind will be your parent. Now for example, I'm going to give you an example. I give you this molecule and I ask you to give the nomenclature of this molecule. <gasps> how to do it? Now first step is always to identify your parent chain. So it's the longest continuous carbon chain and then you identify your substituent. So this is a substituent. Alright. So firstly you have to find your name of your carbon your, your your parent chain. So this is one carbon, two carbon, three carbon, four carbon, five carbon. So for five carbon, what is the name? Pentane. All this you have to memorize. And this, your substituent, it's only one carbon. So it's a it, it's perfect, it's map. But when it becomes a substituent, it becomes a methyl, not methane, it becomes a thyl, thyl, ethyl, propyl, butyl. Okay, it has a while. And also now you have to know the position. So always, always, always number your carbon. So carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, carbon 4, carbon 5. Always name your carbon. Alright, so the nomenclature, which means the name of this molecule is 3. Always start with the position of substituent, so 3, methyl, and thane. So, so this is a parent chain, this is a substituent, and then this is the position of the substituent. That's how we do nomenclature questions. Now let me give you this other molecule. And I'm a, I, I ask you, name this molecule. Give me the nomenclature of this molecule. It looks foreign. It's actually very easy. First step, what I said. Find the parent chain. The parent chain, is, the parent chain is the longest continuous carbon chain. So this is carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 carbon, what's the name? Hexane. 
So basically the name ends with hexane. Now you find your substituent now. This is your substituent. You have two substituent now. And then you have the substituent. So are both methyl. Methyl substituents. How do you name this? Always as after that, always, always, always name your I mean number your carbon. Alright. Always number, right, in such a way that your substituent is nearer to number 1. You don't want to number here 6. If you number here 6, you number here 1, your, f your first substituent is very far away from your number 1. You want the substituent to be nearer as number 1, I mean nearer to number 1 as far as possible. Okay, so that is all wrong. This is the right way. After you have numbered your carbon, so you know you have methyl position and carbon 2 and 4 so you start with 2 4 2 comma 4 and you have 2 methyl therefore it's di methyl you have named your substituent now you name your parent chain hexane so the name of this molecule is 2 4 dimethyl hexane now one last example this molecule over here now look this molecule is slightly different so but the steps are still the same first you find a continuous parent chain your lot which is your longest carbon chain all right so basically